All right, welcome to the Hank Haney Podcast. The Hank Haney Podcast is brought to you by Bet Online, is your number one source for your sports betting needs this season from baseball, golf, soccer, right up to the top fights on the UFC and MMA and boxing. Every stat, every matchup, even live odds while the games are being played, you can uh, check all those odds out. When the game's over, head on over to the online casino and uh, get in on a game of either blackjack or poker, or you can unwind at one of the over 150 slot games. Head to the website today to get in on the action. Use the promo code BLEAV for your 50% bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the action starts. BetOnline.ag is where you go. All right. Today's podcast is also brought to you by Voodoo Pain Relief Cream. If you have arthritis pain, joint pain, muscle soreness, this product is absolutely fantastic. Go to the website, voodoopainrelief.com, and check it out. It is 100% guaranteed, and you will find that it works better than any product on the market today. You can hear the Hank Haney podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. And you can see the Hank Haney Podcast on nofilter.net or on YouTube. Just go to the Hank Haney Podcast. All right, I want to talk about the big news that came out uh, about Keegan Bradley being named the Ryder Cup captain for the 2025 Ryder Cup. Now, this this came out of nowhere, and this shocked a lot of people. I don't know if it shocked me. It did, it, it, you know, because because I really wasn't paying that much attention to it. Although it was kind of weird that the PGA and in the 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 Ryder Cup is owned by the PGA of America, not the PGA Tour. A lot of people don't don't realize that. But the PGA of America, and they won't give it up because this is where they make their money. They make their money from dues, dues of PGA members like myself, they make their money from the PGA championship and they make their money from the Ryder cup. That's where they, that's where they get their money. And, and the PGA of America is a great organization. It does a lot to promote the game of golf and is really the lifeblood of the game of golf because it's, it's, it is the organization of the golf professionals, which are the lifeblood of the game of golf. So the PGA of America owns the Ryder cup. And for years and years and years, what they did is they picked their captain, and, and, and their captain usually has a certain amount of prerequisites. Number one is they you had to be rah-rah PGA. You got to be rah-rah Ryder Cup. That's what you got to be. If you're not rah-rah Ryder Cup, then you have, you're not going to be the captain of the Ryder Cup unless you're, you know, the greatest player in the game of golf. And a lot of times the greatest player in the game of golf is pretty much rah, rah, Ryder cup anyways. But if you weren't the a rah, rah, Ryder cup, you could be a captain if you were just a phenomenally great player, because they're not going to overlook you. But generally speaking, they want rah, 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 Ryder cup. You know, like you got to live and die Ryder cup, everything Ryder cup, uh, greatest thing in the world's Ryder cup, greatest competition in the world's Ryder cup. Uh, you know, live and die Ryder Cup. And if you're that, then you got a chance to be be the captain. Okay. That was the prerequisite. Now, they also would throw in there, if you're rah-rah Ryder Cup and you're a past PGA champion, because it's it's run by the PGA of America and you won their championship, the PGA championship, that gave you a special leg up on being a, a, a Ryder Cup captain, uh, i.e. Uh, Dave Stockton, PGA champion, uh, and was also a Ryder Cup captain, but but this, there's there's more examples than just him. But that was another thing that could kind of give you a little bit of a of a edge to, to getting the Ryder. But then, but then the Ryder Cup, the whole Ryder Cup thing switched, and all of a sudden they, it, the Ryder Cup was being controlled by the players. And this happened after the Ryder Cup over at uh, in in Scotland at Glen Eagles where the uh, U.S. team was captained by Tom Watson, who was a total dictator, out of touch with his players, 
you know, uh, they called him on the carpet, Phil Mickelson in particular, but he was speaking for a, a big group of players because they all felt, felt the same way, or most of them felt the same way. And they said, you know, this is wrong and da-da-da-da-da, and this is, you know, and, and of course we, we get our, our butts whooped, and they're coming up with every reason they can for why we're not winning, and they come up with the fact that, you know, the players don't have any control over anything. We don't get to pick the pairings. We don't get to pick the players. We don't get to pick this. We don't get to pick that. Uh, you know, we, we are the show. And, and, and the, their beef is, goes around the fact that, you know, they don't get paid uh, to play in the Ryder Cup. And then they have to do all these things. And, they, and, and this is why we don't play as good. Okay. So then they turn, they turn the whole shooting match over to the players. And they come up with their uh, their task force, and they got all the guy, and the whole thing is controlled by, you know, the the the, the players, and it's a kind of a little cabal, you know, kind of kind of like the whole cabal thing that's going on with with all the the golf families. But now this is the Ryder Cup cabal, and this is the players that are in in charge. And the you know it's it's you got the you got Tiger, and you had Phil, and you had you know it, you know they the, they were the two guys, the big guys. But but then then Phil went to LIV, so then you know Tiger kind of was in there. And, and then they they they, they, all, they they had all these guys, and they get they get this way. They're going to groom the, the captains. They're going to groom the captains. And you you got to be an assistant captain, and then maybe you're assistant captain again, and then you get to be a, a head captain. And then when you're the captain, captain, you know, uh, and guys want to be the captain. Don't make any mistake about it. They want to be the captain because they want to cash in. Because you know, if you're the captain, you're going to get some endorsements. You're going to get some appearances, and you're going to make money. You're going to maybe may, if you win, maybe you're going to write a book, whatever. You're going to you're going to make money. So they want to be the captain. I mean, they're rah rah Ryder Cup. I'm not saying they're not, but but they they want to be the captain, okay, for financial reasons. You know, uh, players don't get any money, but you know, captains can make money other ways. Uh, so so they they want to be the captain. And 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 all these guys are lining up. Okay, and that's how you that's how we got like Davis Love the third, and that's how we got Zach Johnson, and that's how we got Jim Furick. And and these guys are kind of, you know, I mean they're not they're a little bit past their prime, you know, for sure past their prime. And and a little bit a little bit, you know, kind of maybe out of touch with 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 all the players on the tour, especially the young players. And these guys all kind of want to do the same thing. They want to pick their buddies. They want to pick the, you know, the, the experience. Cause they, they, they talk about experience is so you, you got to have experience in the Ryder cup. Cause you're never going to be, you're never going to be this nervous in your life. And I'm like, I'm, you know, you know, everybody's nervous when they're in competition. Everybody's nervous when they're making an appearance. Everybody's nervous. When, you know, you're nervous when you're making a speech. I mean, there's all, like, like you're nervous when you do a lot of things in life, you know? Uh, but, but these nerves on the Ryder cup, it's just the most nervous you're ever going to be. You got to have the experience and then you end up, it's just getting to be like, okay, we, we, we keep picking these same guys all the time because they got experience. We don't take the young guys because they don't have any experience. How does a young guy get experience? Well, he doesn't. So because they don't pick them. So they take the old guys. Well, this is what happened last time when Zach Johnson took, you know, all the guys he took and they got, got, got their butts whooped last time in the Ryder cup. Uh, you know, they took Justin Thomas, they took Jordan Spieth, they took, you know, took all these guys and, and you know, and, and, and they got killed. OK, and Zach Johnson turns out to be, a, you know, and then and he goes he goes down history as a, as a you know, a, a, not a good captain. But but it, but it say I wouldn't have changed anything because that's what all captains say when they get beat. They say I wouldn't have changed anything. And 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 they they, they, they say, well, you know, it's all great, except except we got killed. So now, you know, it's just kind of heading down that road, okay? And you think, okay, who's the next captain going to be? And everybody says the next captain was supposed to be Phil Mickelson because he was, he was going to be the, you know, they love him in New York. He's going to be the captain of Beth Page because that's where they're playing the next Ryder Cup. But Phil Mickelson went to LIV, and they haven't, they haven't fixed that yet, the, the merger, whatever's going to happen with Public Investment Fund. If it ever does happen, maybe it won't happen. Who knows? Uh, PJ, PJ of America has softened a little bit because they actually invited – a good field to the PGA Championship, uh, but the U.S. Open and the Open Championship, they're still over there. They're still, you know, they still got their whole thing going, and they're not going to invite any LIV guys if they can't help it. You know, like like they'll invite the obvious ones, but the other ones, no, no. You know, they're not going to give anybody a chance. So those guys, th those guys are over there doing their own thing. But the PGA of America is softened a little bit, but not enough to let Mickelson back in. 
you know, he ain't, he ain't coming in because we can't let him in because PGA Tour hates him, and we're not going to let him. And we're partners with PGA Tour and a bunch of stuff, and we don't want PGA Tour pissed off because because you know they're letting us keep all this money from the Ryder Cup. So so Mickelson's out. So then it's it's it, and then it goes to Tiger, and Tiger's part of the the player advisory board for the PGA Tour, and he's he's spending all this time doing that, and he's you know still trying to play and still trying to you know, work on his body and this and that. And I guess they offer Tiger the thing and, and you know, the captaincy. And, and he, he decides he doesn't want to do it. So, so, so then, you know, he can do it whenever he wants. Like he's going to, he can be Ryder Cup captain like any year he wants to be Ryder Cup captain. He's going to be Ryder Cup captain. So he's got plenty of other chances. So he's like, you know, I'll, I'll just take a pass on this one. And I got stuff going on. I don't want to spend, you know, my whole life working on, you know, political stuff, okay, and figuring out uniforms for Ryder Cups and dinners and stuff like that. He doesn't want to do it, okay? Uh, so Tiger's out, you know. It, it, so now they, they think, okay, where, where's it going to go? It's going to go to one of the assistant captains that have been there every year, okay? And, and on the list is Stuart Sink and Fred Couples. Stuart Sink's still playing, so he's kind of in touch with things. Uh, but, but, you know, you know, Fred Couples, I mean, I, he's on Champions Tour barely. I mean, how does he, you know, it, they said some of these guys, th these assistant captains, they had – Zach Johnson's assistant captains. They said that they had to introduce themselves to the players at, at the last Ryder Cup, and it was the first time any of the, these players had ever met these guys. Never met them, never met them before in my life. Never met them. And they're, they're, your, they're your captain. Now, now that – that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? I mean, like, like you would think that the captain, assistant captain, might have met the players like at some place down the road. Uh, you know, never went. Zach Johnson never went one time to watch the LIV players play. Uh, didn't consider any of them. They weren't even like part of the equation. So I mean, just you know, a, a terrible job. But anyway, then, then they 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 decide. You know, they decide they're not going to pick Stuart Sink, and they're not going to pick uh, you know Freddie Couples. And they come out of left field with Keegan Bradley. Keegan Bradley's never been a, a captain. He's never been an assistant captain. He's 39 years old. So he's not old like these other guys or older like these other guys. I mean, I'm older than those guys, but but he's not he's not as old as those guys. He's younger. And they go, and, and, and all of a sudden, it's a shot. It's just like a, it's like, hey, you know what? This whole task force thing, it kind of worked a little bit, but it, it it really hadn't been working. And we're we're changing her up, boys. We we're making a switcheroo. And here comes our guy, Keegan Bradley. And Keegan Bradley didn't even know he, he had no earthly idea he was gonna be the captain. No earthly idea. So how did he get to be the captain? Well, he's only played in two Ryder Cups, never been an assistant captain. Never been a you know a, a, a head captain, not a Presidents Cup captain, not anything. But he does qualify in a couple measures. Number one, he is definitely rah rah Ryder Cup. Like he's rah rah. He is rah 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 Ryder Cup. He loves Ryder Cup. Okay, so he's rah rah Ryder Cup. That that's good. And then the other thing that he qualifies on is that he's a PGA champion. He's only won six times on the PGA Tour, but one of them was the PGA Championship. And and by the way, Keegan Bradley is a guy that got absolutely hosed. I mean, he got screwed last time. He should have been on the. He won two times before the last Ryder Cup, and they picked somebody else. Crushed him. He's rah rah Ryder Cup. He wanted to be on the Ryder Cup so bad, and they crushed him. They crushed him and Lucas Glover. Two guys just got screwed. So hopefully Lucas Grover makes it this time. Probably won't. Uh, hopefully, if he doesn't, maybe they pick him to at least be an assistant captain. Like throw the guy a bone, you know? He should have made it last time. They threw Keegan Bradley a huge bone, and he's now the Ryder Cup captain for 2025. He's from he's from New England, so knows the area. Uh, went to St. John's University in, in New York. Uh, played at Beth Page many, many times. He's rah, rah, Ryder Cup. He'll be great with the crowds. He'll be enthusiastic, and I think he'll do a good job. I, he like like does it matter? Yeah, probably does. You know, but this this picking the old guy stuff, um, like I don't like that hasn't done very good. 
Now, you know, maybe it did all right back in the day when we were so good we couldn't lose, but that's not today. Today's different. So they're going with Keegan Bradley, and how will he do? I don't know. But the first thing I I would say is, is you know, he has an open mind, and he says, I am going to pick the best players to play, regardless of what tour they play on. So, uh, you know, that, that's a good start right there. That gives them a chance to win. And uh, who knows? We will, we will see what happens from there. But what I would say is this. I kind of like to pick. I like to go in a different direction. I like the thinking outside the box. I like the fact that Keegan Bradley is Ra Ra Ryder Cup. And they definitely hosed him last time. So they kind of made they, – they fixed a, a wrong – that was a bad wrong. Like Zach Johnson should have picked, should have picked Keegan Bradley last time, and and they fixed that wrong. So pretty good pick, and I I think it'll work out pretty good. All right, hope everybody enjoyed the podcast. Remember, you can go to HaneyUniversity.com to find out information on golf lessons for me at the golf practice in Highland Park, Illinois, which is where I teach now, and uh, I will be happy to see you there. Uh,